I'm so glad everyone has joined. I'm Reverend Karen Gray with Unity Center DC. And today is June 29th, 2022. And we are here for our midweek centering session, our reset, our meditation, our weekly meditation. And I am borrowing from an old daily word because I was just thumbing through and it grabbed me. The daily word is from November 17th. <laughs> I'm not even sure what year. And the word was, well, the phrase, pray for others. And that's, that can't be beat. So we take a meditation posture, which is comfortable and alert. And we take a prayerful mindset, which is peaceful and grateful and which recognizes our true identity as divine. And from that divine consciousness, really truly every thought is a prayer. And from that divine consciousness, we very naturally offer affirmative prayers to bless ourselves, our loved ones, all others. So I'm going to read this daily word message. The affirmation is, I am a radiant light as I pray for others. The sacred act of praying for others reaches far beyond me. I envision my prayers as tiny but powerful beams of light traveling from person to person and heart to heart illuminating minds and lighting the path of peace for everyone. With each prayer, the light of God grows stronger until it surpasses negative thoughts and ideas, becoming the prevalent force throughout the planet. God's light may be felt as energy for a tired body, peace for an anxious mind, and rest for a weary soul. This light is powerful enough to mend relationships and achieve peace between nations. Today and every day, as I pray for others, I give thanks for the light of God that binds all people as members of one family. And again, the affirmation is, and I invite you to make these words your own. I am a radiant light as I pray for others. And you might want to do something that we've done in this group before, which is hold up your hand and tap a fingertip for every recipient of the prayer. So you see, I pray for my daughter. I pray for her dad. I pray for my mom. It's just kind of a cool way to move our way through the many people in our lives we want to bless. And as we do this, we remember what prayer is. Prayer is the most natural, the most natural expression of who we are. It's truly an effortless way to be giving. It's being in the flow and that flow is provided to us and through us. Prayer is a consciousness more than an activity. And when we pray for others, what we're doing for us is we're including them in that consciousness we have of divinity, of perfection, of the one presence. Call to mind someone who can use some prayer support because of illness. As many as you want. Prayers don't take a long time. Then call to mind someone who might benefit from prayer support through added courage. 
sharing that divine encouragement, affirming that person's place in the realm of everything is possible. Be aware of the flow of God's good to you, through you, around you, from you, as you. Recognize that you're one with that flow. Recognize that the flow moves through you, blessing you, enriching you, supporting you, comforting you. And when you pray for others, you share that, that massive set of blessings. When you pray for others, when in that prayerful state, you call to your consciousness some other being, a person, or an entity like a school, a community, a governing body, you are inviting, you are calling that entity into this divine flow. It is a can't miss blessing. Call to mind someone you'd like to share prayer support with in the form of joyfulness. In the form of a bright idea. In the form of healing and comfort. Use this great power of yours. Share this great power of yours. Share that prayer power of abundance. Bring someone into your prayer consciousness who might benefit from more peace. Pray for someone to have greater confidence. Pray for someone to have greater physical strength and stamina. Pray for someone to see, to find more beauty in their midst. And now notice the fabulously beautiful swirl of prayer energy that is all around you. You have beckoned it. You have invoked it. You have animated it. This is your power. This is your gift. 
when you send out that prayer energy, it cannot go from you without going through you. You are so fully blessed, so fully enriched. The most enriching activity of your day. Be with that. And of all the prayer ideas that have been shared here in this time, if something that's missing for you wasn't there, add it now. Just silently to yourself, articulate what you would pray for, either for yourself or for somebody else. Just silently articulate what you're praying for. And you might want to top it off with that or something better. You always want to be open to something better. Because we have good ideas, but not always the best ones. So be open to spirit providing what is truly best for us. And now we'll bring our meditation to a close articulating to ourselves gratitude, gratitude, gratitude that all these blessings are there, that all this power is there for us to claim and use and share. God is good and all is well. And we are grateful. Now gently open your eyes when you're ready and bring your awareness to the physical space you occupy and the beautiful faces of the beloved ones in front of you. And I just want to say that it's because of you that I show up and treat myself to a really nourishing meditation and prayer time. So thank you for being here for that.